All right, YouTube, what is up? This is Adam Sleazy Veezy here, and tonight we're gonna do an unboxing. What are we going to unbox? One of the Robotech Defenders models from 1984, Thorin. Uh, if this looks familiar to you, you Battletech players, you know it is the Griffin from the 3025 technical readout, one of the unseen uh, battle mechs. Uh, pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. This thing's in excellent boxes, in excellent shape too. You really don't see them like this a whole lot. It's beautiful. It's 172 scale. Height is eight and one eighth inch when it's be when it's built. There's the thing. 1984. Man, how awesome is that, right? So, let's open it up. Let's we'll see what's inside it. As the universe screams, no! I was going to open this up when I got it, but I said, no, nah, let me do an unboxing on YouTube so people can see some of this stuff. Some of these models are great. Uh, they still are great. And in, in fact, I, I love these models as a kid. Um, I made it kind of my mission of sorts. <laughs> the price tag just fell right off. Look at this price tag here. You grab it. There we go. Look at that. The price tag Kmart six dollars for this model back in 1984. You remember, believe that? That's crazy, huh? I found this a good deal on eBay. It's still sealed up and everything like that. All right, you ready? All right, drum roll, please. And there it is. From 1984, I guess the inner wrapping is kind of gone on it. One of the pieces is here. Hmm, interesting. Are the decals in? Oh, the decals are still intact. Look at that. It's molded in color. Pretty nice plastic. Well, that was ripped. Maybe the bag popped or something like that. Do the air inside of it? doesn't look like anything's missing so the box hasn't been uh, resealed or anything smells nice like doesn't smell like smoke cigarette smoke or anything like that hmm. very very nice very, very nice. Some of this stuff's like, uh, you know, old comic books in a way. Um, you know, old comic books smell the way they do and the pages turn yellow because there's acid in the paper that causes it basically to eat itself. You know, giggity. And so, but this is in great shape. Look at these sprues, man. Look at these sprues are in awesome shape. Oh my God, look at that. The decals are still in shape too, man. They haven't yellowed or anything like that. I remember I got one recently. Uh, actually, it's a few years ago. Not recently, but a few years ago. That was um, new in the box, cellophane, everything. Like, open up and the decals were all yellow. I was a, that was just a tragic shame uh, to me. For me, it was at least anyway. Um, wow. Look at the instructions here. One, two, three, four sprues. The cockpit. So we got two, three, four sprues. Nice. Okay. We have these here. The cockpit's right in there. Little bubble cockpit. Here, cockpit. All right, cool. So, that is just sweet, sweet stuff right there. Look at the instructions, man. This is beautiful instructions. The paint guide is right up here, so you know what to paint, what letter means what paint color. You know? Man, this is just, this is just a great, great model series, man. I was so sad when these went out of print. But I've made it kind of my mission to collect all of them. And I'm going to put them together. 
and I'm going to display them uh, in a glass case I will be getting. I will be obtaining a glass case. How sweet is that? And it shows you the decal location and stuff like that after you get it done. 29 easy steps, right? <laughs> it's just so beautiful. These models, Ravel just did such a good job on these models. This was actually the first exposure I had to, to, to Mecca of any type. And I was just instantly drawn to it. Um, these came out in 1984. I was probably about 9, 10 years old at the time. Um, I, for, I I don't remember for the life of me if I, if I found Dungeons & Dragons first or I found these first. But this just instantly draws you in. I mean, especially the background. I think it's the background. You just don't have like a model standing on a table or something like that. Let me show you the lid to the box here. And then I'll show you the other thing that was in there. Right? Look at the background. Look how... Look how let me get this in frame here. Look how scenic that background is. I mean, it's just so phenomenal. It just screams 80s, right? It's a beautiful background. And then, of course, you have your, hey, look at what else you can buy. We type insert in here. And look at this. Look at this. So he's right there. I've got him. There are some that are not depicted on here. Uh, I think they were in a later run. I've got him on the way. I'll do an unboxing of him. Uh, they're not sealed, but all the parts are sealed up in there. The box isn't sealed, though, like this one was. You have the sets, right? Like the armored combat team. I mean, you just wanted these as a kid. And then you turn it over, and now you have the changers from the actual, like, Robotech Macross series right they could change into like you know the robot or the battleoid the guardian or the jet mode and stuff like that then you have the piece de la resistance which i have one of i have not put it together yet the robotech factory this thing was huge right uh does it give you the dimensions on here let me see nope it's one 100 scale though um it doesn't give you the um, the actual dimensions of it. It is on the box. Um, I'll probably put it in the comment section or something uh, just to get the ball rolling on such things. But this was just awesome, man. Where do they go when they're battle damaged? And you get a miniature... Uh, well, I'm going to use the battle tech names. It is the Warhammer and the Crusader uh, that are in there because I don't know, I, I'm not that familiar with the Robotech names like I am the Battletech names. Um, I've played Battletech for hundreds of hours. Uh, the tabletop, not the MechWarrior Online uh, garbage. So, um, but this is just history here. And again, look at the scenes. They're not just showing you like the models themselves. They're just like, you believe, it's suspension of disbelief now. You believe that these are like real, right? Because they look real. It looks like he's actually pushing that tree over. Right? He looks like he's actually in the desert. He looks like he's in some type of urban environment. You, you believe that this is happening and that's part of the fun, right? You believe that they're actually repairing damaged, uh, damaged mechs, right? They're getting them fitted out to go back on the battlefield. And that was part of the fun of this era of uh, of models is, you know, I didn't want, I, I liked plastic models when I was a kid. I just didn't want to do cars and boats and stuff. And then when I found these, I mean, it just instantly drew me in. Instantly, instantly, instantly drew me in. And I'm not sure why that bag was popped, but it looked like it just maybe tore from just shifting around or something. So, but all the parts are there. I'm going to put the instructions in here. I'm definitely going to put the price tag back in here too. Just to remember good old, you know, Kmart and the price of six bucks. Long live Kmart, man. I miss Kmart. When I was a kid, Kmart was the shit, you know. Anyway, put the lid back on the box. Thank you for joining me in this unboxing and this trip down uh, down memory lane, right? And, you know, any type of kid tries to get the pictures 
just like the tries to get theirs to look just like the pictures and um yeah sometimes it's just not possible especially when you're a kid uh when i get these when i get the rest of these this series i am going to put them all together and display them like i said i might do a model of me uh, kind of putting them together in phases uh that would be fun so this is 172 this would be perfect for like a mech warrior uh, role-playing game type thing. You, you put the guys on foot up against a battle mech and see how they do. Um, maybe not a griffin, uh, but, you know, you, you just see what you can do. Or you just have it there for scale or whatever. That would be so, so cool. They don't make them like this anymore, folks. All right. So thank you for joining me. I look forward to uh, providing other videos for you. Have a great night.